all right, about to hit up our bell. He said, give him a call so he can get up out of bed or whatever. It's just gonna be me and him. Some of the guys have a lot of things going on today. I um, was hoping to see the rest of the crew, but it's tough. We all have schedules, so we're in the Miramar area. This doesn't look good. It's sprinkling might get rained out. Mira Mesa Boulevard. What the heck? I thought this was a Vente, not a Grande. Not even filled up to the top. Come on, man. Looks like they're out of our Bell's drink, but they got mine though. Yep, it's raining. I wonder if that guy is coming from the meet and he said, screw it, it's raining. All right, let's see who's not scared of the rain. Let's get this guy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> the homie Jed. What up, man? What's up? We made it. <laughs> See, we never met. Yes, you have. BJ's house. Yeah, it's it's time we're at BJ's house, we're fucking drunk. We're Probably. Just... We can get footage of your car, just a heads up. Oh, Do we have consent? All right, this is Jed with his 2019 Type R. Um, he was kind enough to let us interview him about his car and what his future plans is with the Type R. So I like the I like the color scheme you got going on over here. Red and black, you can't go wrong. The wheels look awesome. What kind of wheels you got on here? I got the Advanced TC4s, 18 by nine plus 38 Type R offset. I had my boy Arbel redo the stickers so he can match the color of the car. Just oh, don't give him too much credit. How long did it take him to, to crank it out? It probably took like two months, which is pretty fast in Arbel time. <laughs> so he got it done all right we got interrupted by some car alarm jed's gonna show us what's underneath the hood pop your hood son <laughs> nothing special just nothing a special. trm intake um i have the charge pipes and then i also got flex fuel kit from prl <laughs> Oh, and cool. Then, You're running flex fuel? Or yeah, is, oh, flex fuel. Oh, I'm running E30 right now. Okay. Uh, the acuity. Some ethanol action. Oh, reverse uh, hoses. And then just to pay an homage to the old Type R. Oh, awesome. So any future plans uh, taking this to the track? Yeah, uh, probably 2022. Uh, hopefully I can upgrade my brakes too before I take it to the oh, track okay. and uh, change out the tires. Probably, maybe you might get another set of wheels. I'm a Togi <laughs> type of guy, so like, I run this shit up and down the mountains. Oh, so, awesome. We'll like which mountains do you go to? I go to Palomar. Palomar, okay. I do pretty fast at the Palomar one, so I want to see how it goes on the track. Oh, it looks like you got an intercooler as well. Yeah, it's a power intercooler from Australia. <laughs> awesome, so it looks pretty beefy. Faster. Quicker spool up. So what you got going on over here? Uh, I swapped up to the 2020, uh, 2021 rear garnishes. I thought I just added like a more aggressive touch. So, yeah. Kept it black. Looks nice. Too much color flash going on. So it's a little update with everything. Yeah, it blends in. It blends in well. I think it goes well with the new control. Yep, totally does. Oh shit, we almost forgot the exhaust. What you got going on here? Uh, I got the uh, remark exhaust. It's uh, paired with the RV6 downpipe and added an extra vibrant uh, resonator for it. It's a little too loud for my taste. A little too brony. <laughs> okay. But I like how it looks. You know, it looks better than the one yet, that's for sure. This is too loud for my taste. Yeah, you don't want that drone sound. All right, so suspension wise, what you got going on? Oh, it's just a simple H&R spring job. Um, I chose that setup because it's more uh, softer. Uh, and the front than it is on the rear. So okay. it's it slightly a little bit more reverse here. But I'm turning. So, and it's the drop is not too drastic. You know, it's California roads, dips, bumps. <laughs> yeah, true. Older cat. True, true. Try not to angle too much because I've been through that whole stance crowd yeah. stuff. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the day. Just, well, now the youngsters, they, they're all about that. But that was the fad back then. No, I'm just more about performance and speed. Exactly. And a little looks, you know. Nothing wrong with that. So any future plans for, for the car? Uh, right now, it's like I have it tuned to like almost 400 horsepower. So it's around three, almost 390-ish. Hopefully I get to build a motor and upgrade the turbo, uh, upgrade the internals. So I'll probably shoot four or five, 600 horsepower. Well, what kind of turbo are you planning to get? It's probably the PRL. 
what is the PSI set to right now? Uh, with no ethanol, uh, just strictly 91, it's going about 25 pounds. 25. And then with uh, the E30 setup, it's uh, about 20, 21 pounds of boost. All right, Jed, that was awesome. Thanks for giving us your time because it looked like the meet was going to get canceled, but you decided to stick it out. Yeah, it was a last minute thing to invite. And then I was like, right, cool, why not? And then it's just cool to see you guys because like, I know Team Victor for a while. You know our bell for a minute. He just pops out of nowhere. He never shows up. <laughs> well, and he lives right here. Well, I'm bad with uh, meat attendance myself, so I can't really say much yeah. on that. But as you can see, it is raining here, guys, but we ain't skirted the rain. <laughs> All right, thank you for your time. Hope right, to see bro. you in the next uh, uh, the next meet, whenever that is, or one of the car. Day. Yeah, the tracking one day. You're more than welcome when track Team footage. Extra has a, has a track day. You're in, bro. Go sick. Down. Got this old school Accord next to the Type R, so... You just got to get the owner to participate with this interview. What's going on, bro? How's it going, man? So we got Jaime over here with his old school Accord. What what year is this? 1990. And you said you had a little story about the car. What, what, what's the story behind the car? Yeah, first car I ever bought uh, back in 2001 um, in New Mexico. And then I brought it here to California in 2003 when I moved. Uh, had some uh, originally automatic, had some issues with it, and then uh, ended up selling it. And then back in 2015, I actually bought it back, and I've had ever ever since. All right, you got some closed ties with the car. It was meant to be for you to own this car. Yep. You're gonna pop the hood for us. Let's see, what do you got going on over here? Oh shoot, you got a, you got a H22, H22. Two Euro R. Wow, Euro R. Wow, this is a total sleeper right here, guys. I was not expecting this. I was like, what the heck? I, was like, I thought it was going to be an intake. <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked him, you have anything going on under the hood? He's all, uh, yeah, let me pop the hood real quick. Is the, is the motor built or just right now it's just a swap and it's you have future plans for it? Yeah, right now it's uh, all stock Euro R. Um, plans is just to do some more head work. And pretty much keep it NA for now. Uh, want to keep the reliability of the Honda name and possibly a little more power. What motor mount you got going on on here? Uh, innovative. Innovative. Yeah. It is uh, 80. Um, 70. 70. So I'm running a 12.8 inch in the front and 12.3 inch rotor. Yeah, there's big brackets and then you have the down for other cables. What do you got for the cables and all that too? You got to run them on stalker. So have you, you, you plan on running it at a track one day or dragging uh, yeah. it? Trying to finish up the suspension. Uh, it does have form function type twos. Um, SPC ball joints. Uh, suspension technique sway bars front and rear. Uh, so once I get the Bushing's done, uh, probably some better tires, and uh, definitely plan on hitting the track sometime. And then as far as uh, engine management, what you got going on? Uh, we've got a Honda at S300. Uh, it's tuned. Uh, dyno at 199 to the wheels. Working for a little more power off that. All right. Are you going to keep it NA, or are you planning? Yeah, I'm planning okay. on NA. Um, I'm actually going to be retuning it uh, soon. So hopefully those numbers will get a little bit better. So who did the swap for you? It's uh, Hector at Lozano's Performance in uh, San Marcos area, I believe. It was a swap. It was originally a uh, blacktop. Um, the car is actually barred for an H22 as well. Uh, my old blacktop had troubles and ended up going with the Euro R. A little more uh, power out of the OEM platform. Uh, so, yeah, we got the T2W4 transmission as well, so it is a full Euro R setup. Just a heads up, the intake won't pass the smog test. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. But the car is barred. You heard that. Car is barred. <laughs> car is barred. I do have uh, yeah, stock, uh, stock intake. And then the EGR needs to be put back. He knows that. Yeah, <laughs> we know that. The RSX uh, Type S uh, master cylinder and booster. Yeah, the master awesome. cylinder has a bigger uh, piston and the booster is a little bit smaller. One of the reasons is because we're running the bigger brakes up front and uh, bigger rotor in the rear. 
Awesome. There's more stopping power. Both GTNs, uh, 18 by 8. Tomorrow Boy did the refinish on the polish. Looks awesome. He even has traction bars, folks. Awesome, man. Totally functional. All right, Jaime. Thanks for your time. Glad you could make it to the meet and you didn't get scared from the rain as well. Um, we appreciate your time and uh, thanks for being on our channel. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Got it. See you later. All right, we just left the meet. We're gonna get some rolling shots of uh, Jed's car. All right, lunchtime. Just got back from the car meet. Time to eat. Carne asada fries. And this is all you need to turn it into a California burrito. <laughs> Make this new one pad real quick. Styrofoam. Need these. This to protect the styrofoam. This to laminate it. No, I'm gonna make it straight, bro. These things get so much on cars. Got this from a treadmill package. Couldn't put it to waste. You gotta put it to use. All right, looking pretty solid. Time to do some laminating action. Tape. Faux chisel. Voila! Kneeling pad to work on cars in the garage. Good to go. Since it's made out of styrofoam, I'm gonna call it Snap Off. What you think, girl? How's that kneeling pad? What a ripoff! Oh man, Haterade. What are you talking about? It's called Ingenuity, girl. You need to buy one that costs 40 bucks. This one's free 99. 